lerp. All right. To best illustrate what a lerp is, um, I had to actually pull together a couple things in Photoshop. So this is a squirrel with a caulk gun, and I know that sounds a little bit weird, but uh, I, I my assignment was this: find two objects uh, that best represent a player and make it ridiculous. So now that's your object too, is to go find a picture of whatever. It could be a rhinoceros with a toothbrush holder, whatever. It has to betray something with a gun because later on it's going to shoot. So things that you should know here is, you know, this is a pretty high res image. Um, it's actually uh, 1024 by 1024, close enough. It's not really about the the perfect 1024, 1024 for this. The fact that it's square, that's what's important. Another thing is, uh, I, I put this on two different layers. I don't know, maybe later on this will help if I want to really goof around. But I can actually, you know, rotate the gun a little bit. You know, if I want to have a kind of a back fire from it, I could. So, to even get more ridiculous. But what I want to do is strap this to this cube and show you how uh, how much fun it is just to play around with kind of like a sprite driven player. In order to do this, uh, we must have a PNG file. So save as PNG. And you want to make a PNG because that way it's a little easier to for people to see it on the internet. Yeah, I better f see if I got the right Unity. And this can go into a textures directory if you want to. It's not required, it's just good management. And that's my squirrel. And none. All right, and what will happen here is I should now have a textures directory. textures in our squirrel this is the PSD version of it and what I'm going to do is create a plane okay and what I want to do with this plane is rotate it uh, in the axis of this 90 degrees and then I'm going to put it at zero 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 and then try to get it right up on top of the square like that and you can't see anything as far as the square goes see because at one point um, there is it's only one-sided okay so I'm gonna have to end up duplicating this but first what I want to do is make it so you know it's easy to see and I know what size the squirrel is before I duplicate it so I'm gonna rotate this around to 180 degrees I'm going to undo the rotate first then type in 180 there we go now I see it and then I'm just going to size it up a little bit And then we're going to have to make a new material for it. And the material I'm going to make is going to be that of the variety of transparent diffused. And this is where the squirrel comes in. There we go. And I can name this squirrel. All right, and then that plane gets that squirrel. There we go. So this is why I'm talking about what, at what size do I really want to make it. Perfect. 
So I need to duplicate this over and make another square on the back side because it's, it's only a single sided object. So that's why, how I get it to both sides. And that's how we're going to learn how to lerp things because lerping is just flipping. It's just cooler to say, hey, go over there and lerp. I don't know how you would use that in casual conversation, but the pe person I'm sure would look at you stupidly. So here we go, duplicate. And for this one, I'm going to send it back to zero. And I'm also going to give it a negative three here. There we go. So now I got a squirrel on both sides of this thing. And in the next video, what I want to do is show you how to parent it together and also show you how to make it look halfway decent.